Good day to you people. My name is Mohit uh, and uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make an unordered list in a Dreamweaver CS5. I've already defined my site. I've, I've called it uh, unordered list. This is my local site folder. I'm going to open it up and it just has uh, one more folder inside it. It's called bullets and it has two different bullets that I'm going to use in my document. Okay guys, so uh, let's straight away get down to business and start creating an unordered list. Okay, first things first, let me give it a title. I'm going to call it unordered list. Uh, then let me insert a list here, an unordered list. The moment I do that, guys notice that it inserts a small dot here okay I'm gonna put item 1 enter item 2 enter item 3 here okay so this is a uh, this is the way you create an unordered or bulleted list in Dreamweaver CS5 but it's pretty simple um, pretty vanilla I want to give give it some flavor I want to make it a little juicy a little better a little aesthetic so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna create my own custom bulleted list I'm gonna use my own bullets okay to do that uh, what I need to do is so uh, I need to create a rule my own rule but before I start doing that let me just save this uh, document so a file and a save I'll uh, give it the name list okay and uh, then I'm gonna hit this uh, small button under CSS styles uh, once you uh, you know that small plus button where once you hover of that button uh, Dreamweaver says uh, gives out a tooltip it says new CSS rule so I'm gonna create a cascading style sheet rule then I will uh, choose the selector type as tag okay and um, Dreamweaver understands that I'm uh, trying to redefine an HTML element and the, the HTML element that I'm trying to redefine is UL unordered list so I'll put UL out there and this rule will apply your rule to all UL elements so I'm creating my own custom defined rule I'm gonna say okay and uh, once I do that I, I go down to the category which is list and uh, I'm gonna choose uh, my own bullet so I'm gonna hit the browse button and uh, choose this first image and I'm gonna say okay and okay once again guys notice so uh, that this image got inserted as a bulleted list which is absolutely uh, what I wanted but the line height is a problem here so I'm gonna go back to the rule under CSS styles double click on uh, UL uh, rule that I just redefined okay and um, I'm gonna give uh, it a line height of 150 percent let's try 180 rather 180 percent I'm increasing the line height okay cool so guys notice that uh, this is uh, exactly how I, I make an uh, unordered list in Dreamweaver custom created especially the way I want it okay so that's fine but what what if I want yet another bulleted list a bulleted list that I uh, wish to have a different look uh, slightly different from this one so uh, to do that the best way of going about it is to actually create a div okay so I'm gonna insert a div here just after the list I'm making sure in the code view that I'm after the unordered list okay and I'm making sure that the cursor is after the uh, unordered list I'm gonna say insert gonna say um, div tag and uh, gonna insert a div at the insertion point I'm gonna hit the new CSS rule I'm gonna call this rule uh, list unordered and I'm gonna say okay and okay once again and again okay so this is the small little div uh, division that I've created uh, it has some content which I'm gonna get rid of now 
and uh, now I'm going to create yet another uh, unordered uh, bullet list in the new uh, div that I've created to which I've applied the class list unordered okay guys uh, so uh, format list unordered list okay the moment I do that guys notice that uh, it's actually inserted the same uh, bullet that we had just created by redefining the tag the uh, we had redefined the bullet from that vanilla simple black dot to this uh, three colored blue dot but uh, as I said uh, in this document I want to use yet another bullet list and uh, for which I'll need to create yet another rule okay in order to do that uh, I'll need to hit the same button once again which is that plus button through which you create new CSS rules and the moment you do that uh, Dreamweaver understands that I'm, uh, I wish to create a compound rule and this compound rule will apply to all li elements the list elements that are within the ul elements the unordered list elements and all those uh, unordered list elements uh, should be within the div to which the class list unordered uh, has been applied so basically uh, this compound rule will apply only inside the div that i've just created and not outside all those uh, list elements or the unordered list elements or the UL elements that are outside the div will have those three uh, dots blue dots okay and for all the elements which are going to be created inside the div that I've just created will have yet another rule it's it's a compound rule uh, that I'm going to create now and uh, through that rule I'll, I'll define that no sir I don't want that uh, old bulleted list I want a new one okay so let's see how to do that I'm gonna say okay now and the moment I say okay notice in the style CSS style a new rule got created which is dot list unordered ULLI okay so it's this rule a compound rule is only gonna target this div and uh, now I'm gonna uh, define the CSS rules for this specific div I'm gonna hit list category and uh, I'm going to browse for uh, my new bullet which is under the bullets uh, folder which is inside my site folder and I'm going to choose the appropriate bullet I'm going to say OK and OK once again so guys notice that uh, only the bullet inside this div has been affected the rest of all the other items outside the div uh, were not affected they were redefined using the tag rule and uh, I've used yet another compound rule which applies only to uh, you know the UL elements inside this div so this is how you actually create two different bullets uh, for the same document which are different from the default okay so guys uh, I'm just uh, saying item, item A item B and hitting enter on the keyboard and that's how I I got uh, my own custom created bulleted uh, uh, rather yeah bulleted list unordered list so guys I hope you learned something new um, and maybe you'll implement it in your website someday or the other I'll see you next time with yet another uh, Adobe CS5 tutorial ciao bye bye